Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Lou Streets, here with another segment of LS Vision. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you're a regular here, I appreciate you returning. If this is your first time and you're looking forward to quality gaming content uploaded consistently, I suggest you hit that subscribe button and stick around. Come join the squad in the number one place to be. Okay, so the very first thing that you need is Audacity recording software. Um, this is a free software. It's not for sale. I am in no way an affiliate or some type of ad presentator, uh, presenter of any kind. This is strictly something that I just really like to use and it's trustworthy, so I'm sharing it with you guys. I'll put the link for it in the description. I'll also put the website in the bottom of the video right now. So you have Audacity uh, recording software. As you can see, I have it highlighted. So the first thing that you wanna do is set up what's called a clap sync. Now I'm gonna show you my gaming capture here. Now, technically, when you see my face and you hear my audio, it looks like it's in sync, but it's not. This is my screen record that is on. That's why it looks this way. This is not the actual audio that we're going to use when we're doing a game footage capture. So what you need to do is set up a clap sync point so you'll know exactly where to synchronize your audio from Audacity with your visual here in, in the Elgato game capture. So we're going to go over here, back to Audacity. I'm going to press record. I'm gonna go back to Elgato Game Capture, press record again. Now, we're gonna do our clap sync. Now, the point of doing the clap sync is so we can know exactly where to match up the audio with what you're looking at on my screen right now. That way, it'll match up when playing the game. So, what I'm gonna do is do just a few moves just so you can hear some game audio in the background and then show you how to sync it up after the fact. So we're gonna do that right quick. Now we're gonna stop recording. We're gonna stop recording on, on Audacity also. I'm gonna export the both of these. So let's export this. We're gonna name it Sync 2. You can put this wherever you want to on your computer. Just make sure you know where to identify the file at so you can drag it into Final Cut when you're doing your synchronizing and your editing. Press OK. That takes about a few seconds to record because it's only 40 seconds long. Same thing with Elgato. Now we're going to go on over here. And as you can see, we have the video. You still hear me talking, but you see that this is not moving because, like I said, this isn't the audio that we're going to use. I'm going to export this also. And make sure that you know exactly where to drag this video from into your final cut so you can have these two files and put them together. So now, because I don't want to take a lot of time opening up Final Cut, I'm going to jump edit to when I open up Final Cut and show you how to place these two things. Okay, so using the same exact method that we used earlier with taking the audio, the video, and doing a clap sync after starting record on both, I'm going to show you guys a sample clip in which I did the same thing. So let's drag it on in and we'll show you how aligning this works. So here's our, our video game footage. I want to go get my commentary from right here, drag it in. I'm gonna put an effect on it to make it louder, which isn't important right now. This is strictly about synchronization, but I'm doing this so you guys can see the clip. So if you look here, one, two, three, four, that represents, that represents our, four, our four claps for the clap sync. So let me drag that on down. Now what I'm gonna do is play this footage so we can find the clap so we can mark it and align it. Okay, so we see our first clap right there. So what I like to do is zoom in, slide over, go grab my audio. I put it right on the marker, that's why I stop it right there. So we have our marker about right there. Let's zoom it in, make sure it's all good. Boom, that looks pretty, pretty on the money. Now let's play it and see what we hear. And if you can hear it clear enough in the background, you can see that the claps are now aligned, meaning that the audio will be fully aligned. I'm gonna make a quick edit so you guys can see what it sounds like in totality. And now you have your full project done. Let's take a listen. Now, as you're seeing in this video, you're hearing quality audio because I sound nice and loud and clear, yet you can still hear the game in the background. I just did a clap sync and we use that clap sync as a reference point to synchronize the audio with the visual as far as me here. So now when we play the game, boom, everything's in sync. 
I'll take Frieza up, take him down, and everything looks great and good. You hear it, it's all in sync. You see him shooting the fireball, you hear me talking. I'm moving on camera. Everything is in sync because we used a clap sync and we took that reference point, put it together, and now this is what we have. So this is what we're gonna use for a sample clip so you guys can see exactly what I mean in the full version of how this thing works. Okay, so there you have it. Um, that's how I get my synchronization and how I get great quality audio. Um, so once again, I'll try to timestamp these. Let's do a quick little review really fast. Uh, step number one, download Audacity free recording software. I'll put the link in the description and I'll also put the link at the bottom of the screen right now. Step number two, turn on your Audacity and your Elgato at the same time. Press record on both. Do a clap sync so you can find a reference point. Step number three, whatever you do your editing in, take those two reference points, align them, and you're good to go. You can master your levels at that point. Um, one small little tip that I forgot to mention, I did show the reference point as far as me clapping in my sample video once we got the total clip. I just did that so you guys can see how useful it is. Always make sure to trim that out of your video. I shouldn't have to tell anyone that, but at the same time, I like to be thorough, so make sure that you trim that out of your video after you do your alignment because you're good to go at that point. Um, that's pretty much all it is. As far as this video, if you guys did like it or feel like it was helpful, please hit that like button for me. And of course, if you wanna see quality gaming content uploaded consistently, hit that subscribe button. It is your boy, Lou Streets. I hope I was very thorough while being brief. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.